YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video. Today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from July of 2017. Let's start off with books and magazines. I finally got a copy of the novelization of E.T. I haven't had a copy of this since the 80s. Three more mad paperbacks, Madvertising, For Better or Verse, and Al Jaffe spews out snappy answers to stupid questions. I got a 1990 Bugs Bunny comic, Sega Game Genie ad, a 1998 Scooby-Doo comic, and a 2010 Taco Bell Fantastic Four comic. Two 1997 issues of Previews magazine. These very thick tomes show all the latest comics coming out, plus games, trading cards, anime, and more. Here's a PlayStation magazine from the year 2000. The commemorative Final Fantasy sticker is still inside. I was most excited about this 1993 issue of Cinema Fantastique with Jack Skellington on the cover and this 1992 issue of Inside Wrestling. I also got a 1981 Ziggy book called A Word to the Wide is Sufficient. The first page has one of my favorite jokes of all time. Here's a vintage Garfield and Odie magic book. It has changing pages. Whoop-dee-doo. And last but not least, a tiny little sports book. This is an old Cracker Jack prize. Let's move on now to the category of miscellaneous. I got a 2006 Campbell's Kids Christmas ornament. There's a green bean casserole recipe on the side of the box. <laughs> also, this brass cutout ornament from Mackinac Island. Three vintage novelty Christmas candles, a piece of old animal crackers wrapping paper, and some brand new sheets of Playboy gift wrap. Ooh. How kinky. I found these cool vintage greeting cards. Look, she's opening a can of whoop-ass. It's sad to read of marriages that wind up on the rocks, but ours, Toots, is holy. And darn it, so are my socks. I got keychains of a billiard ball, a pink translucent rocking horse, this one's from the Hard Rock Cafe, and this B9 robot keychain from Lost in Space. I got a treble clef magnet, and three matchbooks. Here's some colorful language text speak erasers from Suck UK. And a Burger King pencil topper eraser. I got a die from the Las Vegas Hilton and a drink token from Breezy Heights Restaurant. This is a 1963 wallet calendar from the Pennsylvania Thresherman and Farmers Mutual Insurance Companies. And here's two Coca-Cola watch and win game pieces from the 1992 Winter Olympic Games. Plus a Wade Ceramic Uncle Sam, a Hollywood Undead bracelet, a flash charm of a slipper, and pins from Home Depot, Tomorrowland, Hello Kitty, and the Girl Scouts of Western Pennsylvania. I got all kinds of Girl Scout patches from the mid to late 90s. Even one from the Brownies. And a classic Raggedy Ann patch. Check out this Toucan Sam iron-on transfer from Fruit Loops. I think it's from the early 80s. I had a Diggum one. I got a few character stickers and two packs of H.H. H. Bennett Panaview slides featuring images of scenic Wisconsin, a few postcards, and a 1990 letter about making doilies. Do you want a pattern for a pineapple tablecloth? Now that would be a good challenge. Here's someone's artwork. Must be the smallest rainbow ever if she can walk right through it. I also got these small Good, the Bad, and the Ugly poster reproductions and these stills from the movie Taxi Driver. You talking to me? Remember when Pounce Cat Treats came in a container like this? It's from 1997. This Long John Silver's bag seems to date back to the late 80s. And so does this Zare advertisement. That brings back some good memories. But this January 1987 newspaper brings back bad ones. Banquet cooking bags, four for a dollar. 25 cents worth of yuck. Movie ad section from 1991. We got Out for Justice and Toy Soldiers. And from 1987, Ishtar and The Gate. And just a little piece from 1979 with the Amityville Horror, North Dallas 40, and the Muppet movie. Check it out. I got my first iPod. It still has someone's music on it, but I don't mind erasing it since it only cost me a dime. <gasps> I'll leave pink on there, though. And these things rock. A vintage unicorn carnival mirror. I wonder how many bottles they knocked down to win this. And a missing person's wallet. The destination of this is not unknown. It's going right into my collection. Time to move on to my video scores. 
I only got one VHS this month, but it's pretty cool. It's a big box release of the Bela Lugosi movie, The Ape Man. It was put out in 1985 by Teller House Video Theater. Pretty obscure. I also got the complete collection of First and Ten, Season 1 of Lipstick Jungle, Horton Hears a Who, and The Cat in the Hat, Woody Allen's Match Point, and a few obscure musicals from one of those 50 movie packs. Now we're moving on from video to audio. Dry, dry month for CDs. Only got this one by Duke Ellington. But I got seven cassettes for about a nickel each. There's Meet the Beatles, Journey Frontiers, Keep Moving by Madness, the first Dire Straits album, You and Me Both by Yaz, and with no covers, I got the first Fugazi album, and You Give Love a Bad Name by Gigi Allen and the Holy Men. I also got 1045 RPMs for about a nickel each. I got the Argyle EP by The Bouncing Souls, and picture sleeve releases of Manic Monday by The Bangles, and Money Money Live by Billy Idol. Other 80s favorites like Cars by Gary Newman, On the Loose by Saga, You Should Hear How She Talks About You by Melissa Manchester, and I Think I'm in Love by Eddie Money. Plus, Little Bit of Soap by Nigel Olson, Streaking by The Streakers, and The Rainbow Connection by Kermit the Frog. <laughs> and we got LPs for a quarter each. Of course, I already have this. The Go-Go's Beauty and the Beat was one of the first albums I ever owned. But my copy was played to death, and it's time for another one. I also got Blondie's The Hunter, Rod Stewart's double album Absolutely Live, Cruel But Fair, an album by the 60s girl group The Toys, and the soundtrack from The Trial of Billy Jack. And I paid a whole dollar for the 12-inch remixes of Samantha Fox's Touch Me, and for The Odd Couple Sings. Since this is your apartment, there is nothing left to say. I'll go away. I'll go, you stay. You stay, I'll go. Oh, no, oh, no. And on to our last category, toys and games. 48 more pogs. Many of these are from the company's street caps, but there's also football and baseball caps. 150 Beavis and Butthead trading cards. That's the complete set, and I only paid about a dollar. I got a Nintendo game card, some Penn State gymnastics cards, 1988 Topps football sticker cards, 45 1990 score MVP lenticular baseball cards, a Don Rostan musical puzzle card, a couple Monster High cards, Shopkins card, some Webkins cards, Marvel Overpower cards, six Digimon cards, one Pokemon card, 135 Star Wars gaming cards, and I had to buy this Mike Felder baseball card. I never saw one with someone blowing a bubble before. New video games this month are Xbox Guitar Hero World Tour, 40 Winks for PlayStation, and a 2001 PlayStation Magazine disc. I only got the instructions, no game for Sega CD, Bram Stoker's Dracula, but LEGO Star Wars 2 for Nintendo DS cost me literally a penny. I got some more light bright refills, these are of Disney characters. I remember having these exact punch out chess pieces when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure they came from a box of cereal. Here's a brand new late 90s talking chihuahua doll from Taco Bell. You are getting hungry, very hungry. I got eight Mighty Beans, seven Bakugan Brawlers, only five more until I finish my collection. An Epcot Center Donald Duck, Kellogg's Tailspin figure, a few Squinkies, a giant foam growing speed racer, 1983 He-Man, Gonzo from Starbucks, a Cheer Bear, Fisher Price Little Person, a giant eagle from the Pittsburgh Pirates, and a few others. And no idea who this is. Help me out here. Now it's time for the finds of the month. It's a 1978 Mattel Electronics handheld soccer game. I remember back in fourth grade, all the other kids seemed to have one. It took almost 40 years, but now I have one too, and I paid a whole lot less for it. And I got a 1976 Little Professor from Texas Instruments. This is something I had gotten for Christmas in the late 70s and I'm pretty happy to have it again. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $15. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store haul from July of 2017. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. I will not stay another day. Oh no, you'll stay. I'll go away. I'll go, you stay. I'll go, you stay. I'll go, you stay. I'll go, you stay.